Ok guys, today I'm going to show how to add a secondary or second navigation to Zen Framework 2 project. Actually you can add not only a second, you can add a third, fourth, fifth or as many navigations as you want. I'm starting always uh, from scratch, this time almost from scratch because I'm going to use uh, one of my modules in the FMI project which you can find in GitHub here in this URL gonna use CSN navigation module partially of course you can use uh, whatever module you have because it's a pretty simple and you have to follow only four simple steps so right now I have a navigation if, if you have uh, used the CSN navigation module or if you follow one of my tutorials you probably know that uh, navigation actually comes from a configuration file which is in Autoload. Here it is, Navigation Global. Here we go. Label Home, Root Home, so you have to mention the label, you have to mention the root, of course there are two type of pages as they call it one of them is MVC and another one is URA I pages I have here example of URI pages and the MVC pages also some of the pages can have resources privileges so the ACL can control the access uh, to these pages which appear as elements in the menu in the top menu in this case so this menu has been built using this configuration file I'll repeat again it's in auto load navigation global okay what I wanna have is right now a second navigation usually this second navigation shows up on the left hand side on the right hand side of your site or underneath just because uh, I wanna make it simple for me I'll add my secondary navigation or my second navigation just underneath the first one which I have. Okay, all you have to do actually is pay attention on the navigation. All you have to do is just add one key which is different from default. This is the default navigation. I'm gonna go to the end of the navigation and add something which I already have. I tried to make my life easier so I did it not to waste time here it is my navigation from which, from which I'm gonna copy by the way there is a very good uh, very good not tutorial but uh, comment in the stack overflow where you can read and see how to do it is written I decided to do it as a YouTube uh, video clip so you can follow and understand what's going on okay so let's say I wanna have a second navigation which I call it secondary you can call it as you want and it consists of two pages page number one and page number two both of them are MVC pages and I mentioned the root home and in this case is a home as well I just do this by purpose the labels are second page and the first page okay just adding the secondary navigation to the configuration is not enough you'll see now let's refresh and see what's going on okay we still have only one navigation you will see that very shortly but this was the first step the second step actually is to prepare a service because if you look at down in the configuration file you will see how actually the navigation gets created the object navigation gets created we configure our service manager with one factory and we say okay if I say navigation please uh, instantiate object of this class default navigation factory 
In this case, we have to create our own navigation factory, which we are going to call secondary navigation factory. If you want to have a third navigation, you can add, uh, you can define actually a third navigation factory, fourth, and so on and so forth. This is one of the possible approaches, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, you pick one of your modules. In my case, I'm going to use CSN navigation because this is the closest to the navigation module. You can do it, as I said, in whatever module you want. So I'm go to my CSN navigation source, the code, as usual, you can find, by the way, in my repository, Wingman007. So here we go, source CSN navigation. And here I'm going to create one folder called navigation. not navigation of course navigation inside I'm gonna create service why I'm creating such structure very simple because I'm just following the the Zend I'm just following where Zend put it their definition Zend navigation service look in Zend library, it is in Zend navigation service, so I'm just trying to follow their structure. And because my module is called CSN navigation, here up front, I instead of Zend, I will have CSN navigation, uh, CSN navigation, navigation service, and I'm gonna give a different name to this service. Okay. Now, as I said, I have a help here which I'm gonna use, I already done it, just to make sure that everything works smoothly. Navigation service, and I call it secondary navigation factory because a lot of people call it this way. Not a lot, but I met actually such names. So, and let's look at what do we have inside. Here it is, the link to the guy, which I should give credit. This guy actually wrote a comment, and I'm using his approach, but I extended. I'm adding ACL, explanation on how everything works. Okay, so namespace CSN navigation navigation service, because uh, this is the namespace which I'm using. Zend navigation service default navigation factory. I'm going to extend this. If you want, you can go to Zend and look at uh, how this class looks like. Secondary factory, navigation factory, and all you have to do is just say protected function get name secondary. And that's all. Once you have the service, you go back again to your configuration. I'm going to close uh, my helper here. I go again to navigation and because I have already this ser uh, service defined, all I'm gonna say is secondary navigation. This is the name which I'm gonna use to call my secondary navigation. Pay attention on this secondary. This is the name which I'm using, and in the config, actually, this name is gonna be expected secondary. So if you want to have a third one, here you will put the third one and in the service which you have to create you will say third instead of secondary. Okay, I'm gonna continue with the secondary now. And of course here, instead of calling Zend, you have to call your own ser uh, service. Okay, like that. Secondary secondary navigation factory factory okay so that's it very simple first step add the secondary navigation give it a name give it a key actually under the navigation in the config here under this key navigation by purpose by the way I'm using also here a names for the different pages which is not necessary is not mandatory you can uh, just skip this and define the array so this way also is gonna work 
just as a comparison I put it here by purpose with the names so we'll see another way of doing it okay so now we have the secondary navigation let's show it up let's show the navigation before that I just want to show you something I want to show you the module in the CSN navigation where the magic happens where I'm replacing actually when I'm injecting the ACL into the proxy navigation view helper which is gonna help for the second navigation also as well as the first one just to have a role and ACL and the pages will depend actually on the ACL okay so let me attract your attention on something else on the second page by purpose I have resource and privilege in the ACL I'm gonna show you that in the ACL this resource should be seen only by the members not everybody has access to this resource that's why the second page is not gonna be seen when we didn't log in okay config auto ACL global let me show you this here it is those are all my definitions ACL definitions let me look at here for this resource what is defined here what did I say about this re resource by the way the resource could be any name you can use whatever you like I just use this names which are formed by the module uh, the controller and the action because I'm gonna use a second system which is separate from navigation authorization and I just want to keep them in sync okay so only the admin actually can see can edit here we go so I will expect not to see the second page this one when I'm not logged in in the system and when I log in I'm gonna show you how the second page also will become visible now let me show you the magic which happens in CSN navigation it happens in the module it has nothing to do with the second navigation but just in case um, you didn't watch my previous tutorial it's a quick recap okay so here we go what uh, what I'm doing here factories notice this in get get view helper config so factories the navigation proxy view helper what I'm doing here is I'm creating the ACL object I'm taking the role of the current user and after that I inject in the navigation the ACL and the role and this, because this is a proxy view helper this ACL and role will stay and it gonna work for each one of the navigation for the second navigation also for each navigations the same ACL will work and the same role actually will be will be there for us okay now let's go and add the second navigation to our view to our layout view layer in this case is our layout so I'm using the default layout as far as I remember so I'm going to application view layout layout when I say default I mean the layout which comes with the application with the skeleton application <laughs> Here it is. This is the default na navigation. Now I just will copy the name which I gave to this service in my configuration file. I'm going to use again the UL class navigation. Okay and let me separate the two navigations by one BR here 
so they will be on two different lines okay let's see if that works so first thing we added the secondary nav navigation configuration after that we have created a service in my case in the CSS navigation navigation service secondary navigation after that I added this secondary navigation to my configuration file so the service locator can find it and the step number four is in your layout in order to call your secondary navigation or third navigation fourth whatever navigation you like to have you just use the name under which this service is known in the service locator and that's it it should work let me see now refresh and I should see a second line here with my secondary navigation which I said as I said could be on the left hand side on the right hand side on the bottom or could be utility menu with uh, welcome stoyan um, logout login whatever you like of course the navigation could be created dynamically as well but this is another topic right now I'm showing how to create a secondary navigation or second third whatever here we go here we go I have my second menu on the second line the first one is here and as you can see it's driven by the ACL and as a proof I'm gonna show you how the first navigation the default navigation this one and the second navigation changes both of them are driven by the same ACL and the same roles which I showed to you they got injected in the module of the CSN module file PHP in the CSN navigation okay now let's log in and see how the navigations will change by purpose by the way I keep uh, the roots of home and the first page the same just to show you how they are with different color they're bolded the background is a little bit darker here so it's very intuitive actually you probably already guessed that because they point to the home page both of them are with the same color okay so here we go I will log in with Stoyan and the password is password so eventually if you download if you fork and download the FMI project just to use the code somehow there is a SQL dump which is called FMI.SQL please use this one to create your database to import your database don't use the doctrine tool simply because in many modules I have the same entity for example user you can read this in the readme file and that's why the doctrine tool probably is not gonna work unless you just comment or remove these modules from your application config PHP okay so let's log in Stoyan the password is password and I'm expecting right now to see a different menu to change my default menu and my second menu secondary menu also will be changed as I said is driven by the ACL when I log in my role will change to admin and the ACL right now allows me actually to see the links the menu elements which will lead me to controllers which before were not accessible to me okay so as you can see it works second page again so now I'm admin I'm an admin for the system and as you can see the first na navigation the default navigation has been changed accordingly the same for the second navigation or secondary navigation okay so let me look at again the configuration file because I wanted to uh, point something else here you see that actually the root points to the home that's another controller and action it's not the same like the resource I'm using usually I wouldn't do that I usually will put 
here the route which will lead me to the same module, controller and action. Right now I don't do that just to show you that uh, the resource is just a name. It could be anything. But I usually, as I said, keep them in sync because CSN authorization is using this mechanism to understand where we are trying to get which module, controller and action. So it gives me access or denies me access. So that's why. The first thing is that the root can point anywhere. This is the first thing. And the second thing is I just want to show you how I already said that but I just want to repeat again how for example all the navigation elements menu items which point to the same page will become uh, bolded their background will become darker which is very intuitive as I said but I just want to demonstrate this once more again so home is the root here for the first page home is again the root for the uh, second page and home is again the root for the default navigation okay all they point there and thanks to Zend actually they have been bolted okay that's it guys uh, I hope it was uh, helpful and see you the next time